Let me preface this by saying that I am a young convert to the faith. My mom is a Presbyterian minister and the rest of the family believes likewise. <sighs> Studying doctrines such as Extra Ecclesium Nola Salus, I am quite worried about the eternal salvation of my parents and brothers, as I feel that God has entrusted their souls in part to me. I want to evangelize them, but I am not sure how to go about it. Do you have any advice? Should I worry about family cohesion, or should I be as unapologetically Catholic as possible, trying to discuss doctrine with them every chance I get? Well, I don't know your family, and I don't know their personalities. So, take a study of them carefully. See what it is that they respond to. You're absolutely right in that you... <laughs> To have a reason to be worried about them, and you have to pray very strongly for their conversion. You have to remember that they will want every possible excuse to disagree with you. So a lot, because it's family, a lot of past grievances will go into their resistance to the faith. Well, you know, Catholicism can't be true because you slapped me at the family outing 17 years ago. I mean, honestly, it'll never be put quite that way, but that can be the level. I don't know your family. I don't know you, so I, I, I don't know. But look and see what makes them tick. How deeply attached to Presbyterianism are your brothers? What are their questions about? What are their problems? What are their concerns? Now, remember that as a minister, your mother has a vested interest and that's very, very hard to top. It really is. But um, there are a lot of things you could do without necessarily provoking a uh, war. You can ask your questions. Questions intended to make, you know. Uh, questions intended to what? Make her think. Oh, okay. In other words, if if John is John Calvin correct about predestination? Well, if, if was John Knox correct about predestination? Ask historical questions about Presbyterianism and Calvinism in general. Um, if, for instance, your mother is not well, I guess I don't think I have female clergy amongst the uh, Orthodox Presbyterians, so. I'm betting she's in one of the more liberal denominations. But if they've given up, if she is, and they've given up predestination, what purpose do they have in existing? Those sorts of questions. You know, uh, if um, our Lord said, unless I eat my body and drink my, and drink my blood, he shall have life in him, what does that mean from the Presbyterian point of view? That kind of stuff. So you can ask questions. Also, Make sure to invite them all to anything and everything you do that's Catholic. You're a convert, so you may or may not have a confirmation coming up. You may have uh, your First Communion, this kind of thing. Be sure to invite them. Uh, invite them to particularly beautiful liturgies. Christmas, Epiphany, uh, Candlemas, Easter, the vigil, etc., etc., etc. Now, whether or not you should drop the bomb on them, that depends again on personality. Some people do better with that than they do with all the subtlety in the world. Other people, it turns off. You've got to try to figure out which your, your people are. But look at it purely in terms of what will be the most effective. Okay. Uh, this is a very important question. This is probably one of the most important questions I think you've ever received. Uh, for me, you know, I'm inescapably surrounded by good Catholics. I, I'm in a very, very different situation. But talking to so many of your young fans, uh, so many young gentlemen come from families that were, where they're, they, they've converted and they're the only Catholic in their family. Yep. 
and it's a tough situation to say the least for some of these some of these people have protestant parents who are like banning um sacramentals and and are very hostile uh, so are there any universal sort of advice I, it's, it sounds like you have to tailor each approach to your unique situation well you do i mean that's what saint paul tells us i'm all things to all men that was why what was that a I, bit of you what, what your advice to invite them to liturgy would would, would would that be universal could anybody do that regardless uh well i mean unless if if the um if the person is just going to slam the door in your face, maybe yes, maybe no. If it's going to make it worse, maybe yes, maybe no. But maybe it's what they need. I mean, you've also got to pray a lot to the Holy Ghost for guidance on this. But remember that you're in the position that a lot of Catholics were in in the, in the uh, late Roman Empire. All right? The first Catholic in your family. Well... A lot of people have that experience, say about AD 183, AD 90, AD 204. A lot of Catholics in Rome went through that. And all you can do is the best you can do. Okay, so one idea just popped into my head. What about, because I'm remembering our talk on the green scapular. What about you slip the, the scapular into the house? Do, would that work for everybody, your whole family? Everyone can, everyone can do it, of course. Everyone should do it if they, you know, they can do so without being observed. <laughs> because uh, for those of, the, uh, of you who haven't seen uh, this segment and this question on the green scapular, Charles stated that it, its special feature compared to uh, the brown scapular, its unique feature is you can just have it in the household and the person doesn't need to wear it and no. it sort of brings down graces and blessings on whoever's household that is is yep. that correct that is correct so yeah the green scapular could be a great friend and again uh you know, I, I know there are a lot of people out there with a lot of great difficulties. And of course, some of you will have parents who are ex-Catholics. And they're the worst. Yeah. They're the worst. Because they know, they know it all, you know. Oh, I, I know all about that. I went to Catholic school for 12 years. And it's all garbage. I know that. Well, I, I'm, I'm willing to admit that their 12 years of Catholic school was all garbage. That I will sign on with them about. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. So just in. So obviously, just a lot of praying. A lot of praying. Any specific prayers to come to mind? Just rosaries. Five come Holy Chaplet? Ghost. Oh. Okay. Rosaries, yes, but come Holy Ghost is a very important prayer, because the Holy Ghost is your big ally in this fight, and also, Our Lady because she wants to see all her children saved. And that, you know, that perforce includes your parents. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. But it's a, it's very, very hard. And don't beat yourself up over how badly or how well they were. Just do your best and hope for the best. Okay. 